Hey guys, Brutto here, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are, back with our Rags to Riches Hardcore series at Somerset Farms. Episode number 5, we're up to already. Um, quick recap on the last episode. We went through and cut the entire grass area down here for our good friend Mike. We wanted it all done. We removed the four trees. Four trees? Five trees. Four or five trees from here. Um, went down and sold big part of the trees and made $15,000 which was a huge shock to me um, yeah and we've got the rest of the logs like the little off cuts loaded up here um, went back home last night having dinner with Mike and just said you know did you realize how valuable the um, the wood is around here um, well not so much just the wood but the the dead wood and stuff and he said no I had no idea and I said we made Fifteen thousand dollars just from like six or seven pieces of those trees out the front. Um, we made yeah fifteen thousand, and he's like, "Wow, really?" I'm like, "Yep, absolutely." Like uh, he was just as shocked as we were. Um, I told him not to worry about the ten thousand dollars for cutting down the trees and redoing the area for him. He said, "No, no, we had a deal." I said, "No, honestly, it's fine." Um, the amount of money we made from those trees, fifteen thousand, plus we still got more to take tomorrow or today. I said, um, you know, we'll just we'll call it even. The amount of money I've made off those trees, um, obviously the offcuts, and then potentially the amount of money we're going to make off the grass once we collect it and take it to the biogas plant. Um, I said we're more than more than I'm more than ahead to be honest without the extra ten thousand dollars anyway. So. Um, He's more than happy to pay us the 10000 I've told him no, we don't want it, we don't need it. Um, we're more than happy just to do what we've got at the moment. Um, and hopefully these sticks don't fall out. They're all over the shop at the moment. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get some more money off this. We'll get a decent amount of money off the um, grass as well. We sell it to the biogas plant. Hope these aren't going to fall out. They seem to be all over the place. These sticks. So yeah, he's he's still reluctant not to give me the ten thousand. But as I said, I told him it's fine. Like don't don't have to worry about it. We're even. It's fine. Don't stress. Yeah, we're making plenty of money off selling well, selling the trees and stuff. So we don't need to worry about it. Maybe I should have went the back way again. But these sticks are. Going crazy at the moment. We really are. I'm hoping we make it. Really hope we do. We're going really, really slow too for some reason. Something, something dragging on the ground. It's one underneath there that's dragging, I think. Oh Jesus! There we go. Bit of an explosion. Um, I'm going to drag these off to the side. Just had to unhook there for a second. Let's drag this one off to the side. We'll just leave these here for now. Can I grab that one? I can't. Let's see if that made a difference. We're going to have to take up both sides of the road here. Just be careful. Cross to our up, cross off to the side here. Let these cars through while we can. There's a few cars behind us, are they going to come through? Yep, a few trucks. Come on through, mate. Get right off the road for them. Um, and I also got a call from the shop this morning. Um, they were up bright and early, just like we were. It's now summer, first day of summer, so the sun rises a lot earlier. He said that he's had a look at that loading wagon overnight. Um, it's good to go, they've serviced it, just made sure the cutting blades, or the pickup blades, um, and everything else is working fine, they've re-greased it, it's all ready to go. You should see it, if there it is, it's just out the front waiting for us. Um, I had the bank transfer the money straight into his account, so we've already paid for it, we just need to go and pick it up. Hopefully, that's going to work pretty well, and we're going to make a decent amount of money as well off the grass. Um, also, first thing this morning, oh, done it again. Um, first thing this morning, I also got up and checked, checked on jobs in the local area. There are a few 
that I've already accepted a few fertilization jobs, so let me get through here, too much drama. Oh god, this is terrible. This was a good idea, but it's really not working overly well. Gotta go try and let ourselves through. Um, I picked up, can't remember how many now, three fertilization jobs, I think. I'll have a quick look. Um, yeah, three fertilization jobs worth, you know, around about 12,000 in total, so it's going to be decent income for us again today from that, potentially from these logs, potentially from the grass, so plenty of income coming through, but there's still, uh, still trying to get enough to be able to purchase some property somewhere. Yep, calm down, we're having some dramas here, if you can't already see. I'm doing the best I can, let me... If you got out of the way, that would be mighty helpful too. Um, Alright, next plan, traffic off. There we go, we'll turn traffic off for a minute. Um, God damn it. It's one, three. Um, so yeah, we got this to get sold, we're going to drop our trailer off at the store, we've told him that, well actually, I didn't tell him, I asked him this morning, I said, we've got to head to the sawmill with the trailer on, for some logs, can we come back through, pick up our uploading wagon and leave our trailer behind just for a couple of days until we can come back and pick it up. Um, he obviously said, yeah, that's absolutely fine, I hope I'm not leaving sticks behind here, um, also said to him if any of the locals need it, need our trailer for whatever reason, you know, feel free to let them have it. Um, just as long as they return it in the same condition that they borrowed it in, we're more than happy to allow other people to to use it. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully someone comes down and borrows it. So we're going to take this trailer in through here, um, sell what we have on the back, and then. As we just said, head down to the store. Right, see how far I can get into here. Not very far. Right, can we go sell? Didn't sell very much. Uh, I want to be able to get in here, but I don't know how much of it we're going to be able to get in there. All right, see how that goes. Right, let's try and, I don't know, dump all this off somehow. Not 100% sure exactly where they want us to go as far as the sell point goes, but we're making a little bit of money. I think it's... Okay, try and just drag all these pieces over. Turn around and have a look and see where they're... Yeah, they're disappearing from a little bit, but not from the whole... Well, they would have just disappeared from the whole trailer, but... Obviously they're not all getting picked up properly. Um, right, let's see how that goes. A little bit more. Um, gonna have to... Oh, I don't know what we're gonna have to do here. Back back out a little bit I think. Try and get ourselves out, and then try not to oh, damage our trailer too much. Need to back our trailer in there, but I'm not very good at reversing these things. Like that, the wrong way. It's just the slightest little touch, and it goes completely the wrong way as to where I want to go. Let's just go straight back here. See how much we can sell now. Okay, majority of it. Obviously we need to come forward. A lot of our wood, which is weird. Um, Alright, let's try and move this stuff forward. We've still made a decent amount from these logs too, or these offcuts and stuff. It's pretty good. 
there's that, still a few more bits to go. So because it's still the dead wood, it's still quite valuable. Um, not that such enough like, overly big pieces, but there we go. He did say that because all the farmers around here have a lot of hedges, um, potentially they're looking at getting rid of those hedges and putting in posts and wire and stuff, and obviously dead wood um, is the best wood to use for that. That's why it's so valuable at the moment. It's worth a lot of money, like those those big logs that we sold. Um, you can make a lot of fence posts out of those. So they're extremely valuable. So if you got, you know, $15,000 worth, you'd probably make, I don't know, two or three times that with selling fence posts and that sort of stuff. Once they're obviously cut, shaped the right shape and ready to be to be bundled up and sold. It's going to make a decent amount of money guy down at the sawmill, so it's pretty stoked that we actually brought such big, you know, trunks in. This makes it so much easier. Those little off-cut bits aren't overly great. The majority of that will probably just go to, you know, scrap, like wood chips and stuff, but some of the bigger branches you should be able to get, you know, maybe at least one, potentially two um, fence posts out of. So these fence posts are round, whereas he said that the the locals are sort of going with the more of a sort of like a I don't know hexagon sort of shape, but not quite a full hexagon, if you know what I mean. Um, Alright, what's this guy stopped for? Making sure there's nothing there, nothing on the road that I can see. Um, Nothing in the fence that I can see. Pressing F4 to bring up anything that should be there, but I can't see anything, so I'm not sure what he's what he's waiting for. Might just have to check on that again later on. There's another guy up here that stopped as well, actually. I'll have to use F4 again once we get closer and make sure there's not some sticks or something that's sort of fallen off into the ground or something that we can't see. Otherwise we're just going to have to turn traffic off, which is not ideal. But he did say to park it over next to the fence, just next to where he's parked the um, boating wagon. Sort of near where our seeds are, so I'll try and get it over here. Obviously our seeds are still here, we need to get them back to the farm somehow, so potentially when we pick our trailer up, we can ask him if he can load up our seeds. He's got his forklift there, load up our seeds onto the trailer, and we can take them back back to the farm. Here's our little loading wagon. Looks really, really old, but should do the job. Lowers, lifts okay, starts and stops okay, so that's all that really matters at the moment, making sure we can actually use it. I think there's some issues up here at the moment. Let's bring up F4 again. We doesn't seem to be anything there. Oh, I can't see anything. Maybe once we save and come out and come back in it might be different, but yeah, I can't see anything. Just make sure guys when you press F4, don't press Alt F4, um, that will obviously get you straight out of the game. So what I want to do is head back to the farm, I know it's taken a little while to get there, start doing a little bit of um, loading up with some grass. Um, I'm going to have to come through and cultivate, so we've got logs there, you can see how they come up, but they're there. I don't know what the other cars are stopped for. Anyway, do some loading, pick up some grass, um, wait till it's all picked up, and then come through, cultivate the new field in, um, get rid of all those old bushes and weeds and stuff that he doesn't want around. And potentially, I did say to him, they might have to contact the local landscape company and just do a little bit of work with the ground as well, um, and actually get in around the slurry, this little slurry pit there with um, some whippersnippers and stuff and 
um, or weed whackers, whipper snippers, whatever you guys call them, in there and just get rid of those those flowers and stuff that are in there. Get rid of that. So that's something that he's going to have to sort out um, and pay for himself, of course. Got another car stopped up here as well. Right, traffic off for now. Um, and we'll see what happens. That's a little strange to me. Anyway, we're back at the farm, so let's um, start to collect some grass and we'll see how we go. So we're not going to get a massive amount of grass. Oop. Come on. But it's all going to add up, I think. We could really do with a wind rower, but he said he hasn't got one in store at the moment. Um, he doesn't know of anyone that's got one available for sale or for us to even borrow, so this is sort of what we're going to have to do, just go up and down and around and grab whatever we can, but you can see the grass is already starting to grow back because it's been so warm, um, well I guess, I wouldn't say so warm, but it's been so sunny and it hasn't really rained a great deal since the first day we were here. Um, grass is still growing reasonably quick which is I guess is good for some people not so much us because it makes it a little bit harder to see where we're trying to pick stuff up from so we should get I would say we're probably going to get a couple of trailer loads full of um, grass so hopefully we can sell it for a decent amount down at the biogas I think at the moment it's $300 per thousand litres or something, so I mean that's not a massive amount of money, but you know, that's nearly $900 we've got now already, so that's going to pretty much pay for our loading wagon. Our loading wagon the only charges $984 with the service and stuff, so it's not, well it hasn't cost us a lot, and it's going to certainly bring us in some decent money. And then when we actually have our own field that we can purchase, we can potentially do this and make some silage and sell the silage as well. So try and get um, get our farming empire off the ground even quicker, being able to sell some silage and stuff. From what I heard from the guy down at the shop, he said that the silage is worth about 500 bucks per thousand litres at the moment. Um, so. It's worth a little bit more than normal grass, so it certainly would be beneficial, I think, for us to turn it from just normal grass into actual silage. That extra couple of hundred bucks per thousand litres at this stage is going to be big income for us compared to you know what we're used to at the moment. We're not making much money at the moment, so ready, right guys. We'll um. I'll end me talking here at the moment and we'll head into a time lapse so if you guys enjoyed this episode as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of this series so far and if you want to see it continue if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been Bruno thanks for watching see you again soon
Thank you.